Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and in this video we're gonna be modeling of like a semi-organic hard surface shape that you can use for kit bashing, etc. Let's go. So let's grab a cube here and let's just scale it on x-axis a bit and z-axis just a bit. Drop a loop here in edit mode and extrude it here. And I'm gonna mirror it to the other side, symmetrize it with Mesh Machine, Alt-X. Now if you don't use Mesh Machine, what you can do is go to Object Mode, Alt-X with Hard Ops, press D, go to Symmetry and Symmetrize. Now this tutorial is not for beginners, I'm warning you, uh, this is for more intermediate people and we're gonna be going a bit faster. You can stick around if you want, but if you're a beginner, we have free tutorial for you that will teach you everything you need to know about Blender, Blender settings, Blender menus, how to start with hard surface, how to model something, full course, enjoy. Now, if you're a bit more advanced and you're using hard ops, then I would suggest a terminal course, which will teach you quite a few things about hard ops, how to use it, etc. Both links in the video description. So if you're interested, hop in, get it from our website. Like I said, both courses are free. So here we're going to cut it with, an, uh, not an end gun, with a box here, like that. All right, click and cut. Altex um, and mirror. Now, if you were using mirror for um, symmetry, mirror in hard ups for symmetrizing, you need to press X to reset the mirror, okay, before you mirror it. Otherwise, you're going to be adding symmetry again. Nothing will happen. Let's just uh, apply that. So, control click on sharpen. And then I want to drop one of these lower. So, the thickness here is going to be uh, more or less the same. So, GZ and drop it somewhere here. Altex and we're done. Now we're going to clean now these edges here with um, the uh, mesh clean, okay? So it's going to clean it up really nicely. Cool. Control A, apply scale, and we're going to grab these two edges, press uh, marks to unsharp them. Control B, and we're going to introduce, you can see on the bottom, 10 segments. And we're going to do the same thing here. So grab these two and, you know, 10 segments, Alt-X, done. Now here we're going to select these and press Q, unmark, so un unsharp them. Uh, create a corner here, Alt-X, and click, Alt-click with Mesh Machine, then click here to select just a loop, and Control b and scroll and create a chamfer. Click, Alt-click, and again, uh, loop and, you know, chamfer, a little bit smaller chamfer. And what we want to do now, we want to remove all these sharp edges here from the middle because we don't need them. So what we can do is I control shift click on sharpen to recalculate sharpen. Then we're going to add a cylinder and we're going to change here to 80, then RY90 to scroll it, scale it a bit. Uh, let's go to front view, GZ, move it up a bit. And uh, I think that's cool. Um, we're going to add some um, loops here, uh, make it quad, you know, quadish, which means more or less create quads here. Same here, so select this main shape and we're going to add some, you know, quad like structures. And we're going to sharpen that, shift select this one, add, and then booleans and union. And then shift to now, uh, the fun part starts. So um, here, if I'm going to combine this, right, so I'm going to go operations multiply. If I wanted to, you know, select this loop here around, and by the way, the only way to select this entire loop like that is with Mesh Machine, otherwise you will not be able to select the loop through end guns uh, in Vanilla Blender, but who the hell uses Vanilla Blender anyway? Uh, so uh, here, if I'm going to try to bevel that in Vanilla Blender, you're gonna get, you know, side fucked. So you don't wanna do that. What you wanna do is you wanna go to Mesh Machine. This is probably one of the most important features in Mesh Machine. Uh, and this is why I think you should get it, uh, because it's that good. Uh, you want to go here to Mesh Machine, you want to scroll down, and you want to enable Experimental, Save Prefs, you're good to go, right? So now, with this edge selected, so click, Alt-click, you press Y, and you go to Offset Cut, and Magic Happens, because your mess is being turned into quads, and the geometry has been eaten and sort of replaced. Then Control b Bevel, Bob Janko. Easy peasy, job on easy. Now, what we want to do now is we want to clean that uh, mesh here a bit because you can see that we got some problems with shading. You may not be able to see that that well, but we do. So if I'm going to change this matcap here to something insane like this, 
you will see slight distortion, although I must say this looks pretty decent. Uh, on maybe you can even get out, uh, I mean, get away without doing anything else. You got some distortions here and there, you know. So what we want to do is we want to replace that, right? We want to, you know, fix that. So, so click here, alt click, and then we're going to use Boolean Cleanup. Now, Boolean Cleanup has two algorithms, pulling from outside and pulling from inside. You can scroll your mouse. You don't want to pull from outside because these beams here, okay, these beams, they support the shape of this entire, you know, cylinder. What you want to do is you want to pull these, you know, the small buggers, right? So click, alt click, Y, Boolean Cleanup. And you want to scroll your mouse to pull the, you know, the small, the small um, elements here. And just look around if everything is peachy, everything is peachy. Click, out, click. Now be careful not to pull these. These are very long and you don't want to pull them. You want to pull the small ones, right? So uh, again, boolean cleanup, scroll your mouse and don't overdo it. Uh, you know, just... Uh, Pull these and actually, you know what? Um, let's just move this one a bit closer. So, GG, and move it a bit closer here, and then click, alt click, one more time, boolean cleanup, and pull these, and you're good to go, right? And then you can, you know, mirror to the other side if you want to. Here inside, the same thing. Uh, we could technically probably remove this bit, but I think boolean cleanup can, I mean, the offset cut will deal with it. There we go. And then all we need to do is chamfer that, I mean bevel this, click, out, click, Y, boolean cleanup again, pull the inner ones, the small ones, right? And just check if you don't, you know, you're not pulling anything stupid in here. We're fine. Same here, click, click, out, click, and then Y, boolean cleanup again. You're pulling the small one. Don't overdo it because you see what happens. Don't overdo it, yeah? So just, you know, Pull these and leave these alone. And boom. And you clean as a baby's ass, okay? Then you want to just pop some bevel on it. Small one because, you know, mechanical part, small bevel. Alt click on sharpen to add weighted normals. And you're done. Let's grab this one. And in fact, before we do anything, let's clean these uh, elements here. Uh, select that. F, Control B. Chamfer it. Click here. I to insert it. Then I to insert it one more time, then GX, move it in, then insert it again, and then E, Alt X, and uh, we're done here. Let's select that, let's chamfer it a little bit, okay? So I got this kind of small chamfer over there going on, which is pretty cool. And, uh, you know, and uh, this part is kind of done. So now what we need to do is we need to introduce something here in the bottom to make it more interesting. So let's grab a cube. Go to top view, S, Y, scale it, move it in here, S, Y, scale it a bit more, and somewhere here, make it a bit bigger, something like that, and drop it down, uh, we don't need it to be so, actually, uh, actually, yeah, let's go tall here, so G, Z, and move it up, then Control A, apply scale, and then uh, let's just bevel this one here with 12, Select these two with Shift and Control, Control B, make it smooth, sharpen, and difference. Okay, cool. Now we can just, you know, I mirror this to the other side. Peachy. Let's recover this with F scroll. Go to side, go to side view, right? Grab this uh, cutter, and I want to cut it here in the middle like that. Okay, boom, right? Go to top view, make sure in shift V menu you have this view align auto enabled, right? D circle and you know hold control, you can enable the snapping here, hold control and you can draw from the middle here. Make sure you got decent amount of verts, but maybe not hundreds, so hold shift and maybe scroll to like I don't know 50. Should do, you know what I mean? There we go, and click, right? Click. And then uh, what we can do is uh, uh, recover this cutter, shift this, scale it down, and difference. We're going to have cut within the cut. In fact, this one could be a bit more narrow. There we go. It's going to look structurally more sound, and it's going to sort of uh, follow the design more or less. Here we're going to recover this uh, major cutter. So this one, press D, go to end gone, turn off this cyclic. And we're going to draw this. Now, if it's too thick, too thin, press T, you can adjust the thickness of this, right? You don't want to make it too thick, you don't want to make it too thin. 
you want to make it just right you know the way she likes it so here here let's uh hold control to remove the uh remove this uh angle lock disable the angle lock and just you know cut it in here and then we're gonna cut it in here like this okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go do a cool trick here control click on the scroll press tab enable these two last cutters select them with shift click that Click that cutter with Shift Alt X, press X to reset mirror and mirror them across. And Bob Jonkle, you're done. Right? So we got this shape going on. So now what we need to do, we need to remove this effect from the bottom, right? So with these uh these selected, okay, these selected, go to side view. Because I don't need it in the bottom, right? I need to cut it from the bottom. So shift click that like this. And let's see if it's removed. It's removed, right? Perfect. So shift shift to and then you're good to go so top is kind of you know uh perforated whatever you call it and the bottom isn't it just looks uh it's gonna be easier to chamfer the bottom right you can see the bottom anyway so now operation is multiplied and now the fun starts okay because we need to fix this rubbish here so first of all these edges are a disaster you don't want connections like this going from corner to corner you want to fix that okay so what you want to do is you want to run connections like this and like this instead of this and this this is no bueno okay here what you want is you want to run connection like this uh, then you want to run connection like this i'm simply using knife click click or right click to continue cutting and you want connections here in the middle as well so here and here and the rest is fine and then you can remove all this junk here so this one this one you know uh these probably should all go and this one should go definitely there you go and now what the hell is going on here we got some double verts press t with mesh machine uh, machine tools that didn't work cool there's an edge here uh which we need to dissolve there we go that's much better so now what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, bevel these okay so grab these and control b and maybe you know 10 segments is enough 12 is pushing it uh, you want to dissolve, uh, um, you know, remove these, and there's a double edge here. No, select these two and control B. Uh, there's a double edge here. Dissolve that, select these two, control B. There we go. Boom. This side, uh, you know, let's dissolve that. There's an edge here for sure. Select these two, control B, and boom. And then select this side, and uh, let me see that. That's one edge and one edge. Let's remove this one. Select this and this and control B. There we go. Same here and remove this and select these two. And there's a double edge here. One more time. Control B. And there we go. And then here, that's going to be a bit more tricky. You need to remove this uh, because reasons. Uh, we got the bullion. Um, just press W to remove disable box cutter because it's gonna be doing stupid things here in, at our backs and uh, what time to say dissolve this one select this and select this control b and bevel and here same shit this one and this one and control b uh they kind of met here together which i'm not sure i want to there you go and here as well right so we got this one we can disable that and dissolve this one and then we got this and this and control whoa let me see that let's combine these two here boom select that shift select that control b uh-huh double edge again dissolve it one more time you gotta be patient with these. Now the reason why I'm not <coughs> chamfering them all at the same time is because it's gonna look better if you don't. Now we need some sharp edges all around, so simply control shift on sharpen, which will recalculate sharpen. Select each of these sharp edges separately, right, on each of these shapes, and then we're gonna run as select, okay, with uh, mesh machine, control B, and we can now chamfer this. Now if you get pulls on um loops right you can disable loops right here so you can just open this bevel menu but i think we're cool 
and the same thing we can do here so click alt click and you see now it's easier because we removed we removed this uh, bottom uh, bit make it smaller it's okay and mirror here to the other side and to this side and i think we are done with kebab so there you go very clean shape no shading issues we got some beef edge in here which is fascinating ah this one got marked as sharp that is actually interesting let's just uh, unmark this what is going on here uh, let me see there's some rogue vert in here press three no what the hell let's actually split this edge here subdivide combine these two words there we go and this one could be combined here and i think this is gonna solve our problem mirror to the other side mirror to the other side and bob's your uncle kind of one more time okay I don't know why these still are marked as sharp, to be honest. Let me just click it sharpen again. It should disappear. There we go. And turn off this pass through. So there you go, guys. Very simple hard surface shape with really nice chamfers looking really clean. Uh, we could just drop this bevel just a little bit to make it look a little bit more machined. You don't want to, you know... You don't want these bevels to be too supple because again it's a metal uh, so for example now if i wanted to render this right it's just gonna look a little bit cooler uh, with smaller chamfers you know that's my experience so um, if i'm going to add some flooring to it with alt m go to edit i mean uh, render view and grab that and you know add some mud to it and let's make it a little bit more metallic so let's just maybe choose a different mud there we go it's a little bit too dark so let's make it a bit less insane in terms of roughness and maybe a little bit brighter so we can see the shape better kind of like an aluminum or something or aluminium whichever way you want to pronounce it and the same with the floor i mean floor is slightly insane there we go Kind of like a brushed, you know, sort of a metal. Looks really cool. You could make it a little bit maybe more reflective than that. Or add some clear coat to it, which will add a little bit of depth to it. Uh, it looks pretty awesome. And there you go. You got a really nice, clean, very clean shape with all these uh, techniques we used. So, you know, uh, if you can afford mesh, mesh machine, I would highly recommend it. All the links to add-ons I've been using are in the video description. There's uh, tons of videos on hard ups, mesh machine, machine tools, decal machine, whatever I don't I'm using on my channel. So just go ahead and uh, look for them. In the past month or two, I've uploaded massive videos on mesh machine, on decal machine, on machine tools, and hard ups and box cutter, like a 20 minute startup. So look up that video as well. And like I mentioned on the beginning of the video, if you're starting with Blender, I would highly recommend our free course for hard surface is brilliant you're gonna learn a shit ton of stuff in a very short time so go ahead and grab it and then we have a bit more advanced free course creating a terminal with hard ups and box cutters so great practice for anyone who wants to improve their skills with these add-ons thanks for watching see you in the next one